Hello everyone, Brian here with a brief update on um, Notre Dame de Paris. So here's where we are after about five hours worth of work. Um, the uh, west front is complete and the south is complete and um, everything basically is together except for the north front. Uh, which is what I'll be building next. So this all went together fairly easily, um, other than the problem I had with one tab that you saw in a previous video. Uh, the only other problem that I encountered, or the only thing I struggled with a little bit, was getting the surrounds um, on these towers in. And that's because all of this is filler. These are actually very delicate um, and they, they roll into a circle and there's a tab on two tabs on this side and two tabs on that side. But the structure is so delicate um, that there's really no way to, to push it down on there. And so what I ended up doing before I, I put these pieces in is I actually put a pair of of these really strong tweezers right down and clipped them on right above the tab. And then I was able to actually, you know, they're already very, very tight, but then I was able to, to hold them together really tightly and push the tab itself down rather than putting my weight on the cardboard here and risking that bending. Um, and that's, you can always do that on, on any place you've got something you've got to put on. You can always use one of these long tweezers to grab hold of the tab and, and give it structure um, so that that can be pushed down. One of the great things about this model, I think one of the things that really makes it exceptional, and you can see here against the light is all of the simulated stained glass uh, that you get through here with the little plastic windows they give you to put in. And the nice touch, you know, I'm realizing as I'm looking at this, the, the one downside to doing that is this one up here, there is no light behind that. This is all fully enclosed um, in here. And so there's no way to bring light through and actually see that piece of stained glass. That's one where they probably should have just left the... Um, you know, they probably just should have simulated it in the color on the cardboard rather than giving us a piece of stained glass to put in there. Again, these these little simulated stained glasses, they're little, whoop, sorry, they're little plastic um, pieces. And it's kind of nice that they're plastic because this model opens up, or rather that they're on plastic sheeting, because this model opens up and inside, you can see the reflection um, all the way across there. Um, but what this does in effect, you know, because it's plastic sheeting, is it allows you to see right through to the stonework behind. Um, so, you know, for a simple model like this, it's kind of an elegant solution um, to give you that stained glass simulation and still not ruin the appearance of the inside of the model. Um, you know, again, it's a card model, so you have things like, you know, like these tabs showing through, um, and again, you know, up here um, along the sides here, you see where the tabs have come through. Um, but this is one of those models where um, on the outside, you don't see very many tabs. You know, you see a couple of them here, but they're they're hidden in most of the towers very nicely. Um, most of the exterior of the model is tab free. Um, so, you know, I really got to give them credit. They did a beautiful job in creating something that, you know, when you step back a little bit in the, um, you know, in the distance you'd normally view this model, your eye does not go to the tabs and to the more cardboardy elements. It takes in the whole thing and, and I, you know, how often do you see a model of this size um, of a cathedral uh, with this much detail? It really is a beautiful job that they did on this. 
Um, so I'm impressed so far. It was This model is uh, $98 on Amazon, and I think it's worth it. I'm into it for about five hours now, and um, I think it's going to take another two, maybe three hours to complete. Um, so you're paying $10, you know, say a little more than $10 an hour. And what you're getting in terms of a display piece after this is really, it's really something. It's really impressive. Um, so I'd say it's well worth it. So anyway, uh, there's just a few minutes to show you where I'm at and show you some of the detail we have here. And um, I will post another video very soon uh, actually constructing the other side of this now so that you can see actually how the walls went together and the flying buttresses and, and all the parts. Um, so stay tuned for that. And um, wow, this is, this is really, <laughs> I've spent a lot of time looking at it, but uh, this is really impressive. So anyway, thank you for joining me and um, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.